Well, yes, this week I left myself in a very invidious position and backed the courage of my convictions by asking a question to the so-called real Simon Jordan. And this is how the moronic Herbert responded. Oh, for f sake. <laughs> well, yes, I know what you're thinking, you moronic imbecilic Burke, but of course, I'm going to make the courage of my convictions here, because I do not want to leave myself in an individual position. You can't square a circle, and it's complete dollars for donuts. But of course, less of the water boundary, and more of the ask a question ring. From one Simon to another, a much better looking one, I might add, my question for you, you imbecilic moronic Burke, is this. If you could push Piers Morgan or Gary Neville off a cliff, which former Manchester United right back would you push off? And I used to own Crystal Palace, you know, you Burke. See, I not, don't know what to make of this Darren Farley impression because A, I'm clean shaven. B, I don't have blonde hair and I haven't had blonde hair for about 14 years. C, the shape of my glasses are different. He is getting better, I must add, at using some of the dialogue that I use. Burke has been replaced by Herbert, so you need to get updated with that. Dollars for Donuts has been dropped. I consider Piers Morgan and Gary Neville to be cut from the same cloth like lemons. And you know what happens to lemons, don't you? they jump off cliffs of their own volition, so I don't need to push them. But Darren, it's very flattering for you to do an impression. It doesn't look anything like me. It doesn't sound anything like me. Um, and whilst you're getting better at um, the colloquialisms that I use, I'm looking for you to up your game. This is not Premier League impersonations. This is, poof, I don't know, League One moving through the gears. But keep it up, son, it's quite flattering. Well, yes, as expected, an ironic, preposterous response from a bleeding Herbert. That's what was expected. And yes, Simon, you know, you raise a couple of points there. Should we, should we go through them, shall we? Yeah, OK. Well, the first one you mentioned is I don't sound like you. Yeah, well, it's very difficult to reciprocate Hugh Grant eating the cactus, isn't it, mate? I don't know where that accent came from. Not from Planet Bleeding Earth, never mind Croydon. Yes, you, you've got a bleeding accent, you know, that resembles a bleeding Benedict Cumberbatch, Roy Hodgson, Squidward off SpongeBob SquarePants, Love Child. Don't know where that accent came from. You're from Croydon, mate. Sort it out. Then we talk about the wig. Okay, you mentioned the wig. Yes, it's peroxide blonde. Do you remember when you had peroxide blonde hair? Was when you ruined Crystal Palace. And you took Crystal Palace on a downward trajectory, didn't you? You obtuse moron. I remember that one. Yeah, dollars for donuts. Absolutely. And for me, you know, at a personal response, the people did call you the Croydon M&M. &M. They did. Yeah, Billy Big Bollocks at the time. Yeah, okay. And now, obviously, clearly, it's a, it's a tint of mahogany. Matches your spray tan, you Herbert. Yes, of course it is. Moving on, you mentioned the, the glasses. You said, yeah, the glasses. They're a different shape. They're not like mine. Well, I didn't go to Gucci Prada, did I, mate? Went to Poundland. And I think you've pre frequented Poundland quite a couple of times, haven't you, Simon? Clearly, I've seen the clothes that you were, son. Yes, yeah, not several row, was it? Let's be honest. And yes, I've been to Poundland a few times myself. Got these glasses. Yes, and you should know about Poundland because you're a Poundland Steve Parish! Because that man is a hero who took Crystal Palace an upward trajectory. The complete opposite of what you did to that bleeding football club, you Burke! Because he owns Crystal Palace, you know, and you don't. And yes, well, moving on, the next one you mention is, I'm clean shaven. And yes, you are clean shaven. Obviously, you have to be clean shaven when you're getting 257 spray tents a day, you burk. Yes, isn't it? And you also say it's a League One level impression. Well, yes, you are a League One level pundit, so that's what happens. Gary Neville for PM. That's all I've got to say. He's so articulate. I love Gary Neville. He's incredible. He's my favourite pundit. And um, I think he'd take you apart in a one-to-one. -one. Just, yeah, that's how I see it. Yes. Right. A couple of other things that you mentioned as well. And, um, you know, I've got, to, I've got to say, you know, you said that you were flattered. And that's really nice. And I'll be honest with you, I'd, I'd really like to fl flatter you face-to-face -face if that's okay. With a bleeding frying pan in a trajectory of your grid, you bleeding walk and midlife crisis. Yes. Well, as well, Simon, I've got to be honest, a bit of bad news for you. TalkSport have approached me and they've said they prefer the Darren Farley version of Simon Jordan than the Simon Jordan version of Simon Jordan. Clearly not a lot of the people in the building like you, because you're obtuse moronic. Burke, you're a bit of a Herbert. You know, I'm not naming any names, but uh, when I spoke to my mate Jim White about it, you know, he turned and said, look, we want to bring you in. And I said, Jim, it's very difficult for me. I'm going to bet the courage of my convictions here uh, with an obtuse decision. Dollars for donuts. And um, I find it very difficult to be Simon Jordan for two and a half minutes. Never mind three hours, mate. So I, re I rejected it. So you can keep your job, you Herbert. Uh, look forward to listening to you on TalkSport. And if you've got anything about you, you will respond to this message. Sort yourself out, you bleeding Herbert. And uh, yeah, you saw on Crystal Palace, you know. 